guys, today we are going to be talking about all of the fall palettes in my collection. Um, I thought of doing like a my fall palettes kind of video, but I've seen so many people do that. And then on my subscription feed the other day, I saw my friend Danielle Perry, which I just did a collab with recently. She did a video ranking all of her fall palettes. And I just thought that, you know what? That is a really good idea. And that is something that I want to do because I find it a little bit more interesting when there's like another aspect involved and just like showing a bunch of palettes. So that's basically what we're going to do. So I think I have 17 palettes in front of me that I would kind of consider in the fall category. Maybe not all of them are like meant to be a fall palette, but when I look at these color stories, I definitely see fall in them. So when I think of fall, what I think of is obviously it was in my background here, but I also think of like, like jewel tones, like dark purples and dark, maybe like dark blues. Like it all depends on what kind of colors you're pairing them with. Uh, so yeah, a lot of these might not be like traditional fall palettes, but when I look at them and I think of like which season would these be the most appropriate to wear them in, not that I really care what I wear at any time because I just wear whatever I want, but I will say I love fall. Like fall is probably my favorite season. As you can tell, I'm wearing a scarf and a t-shirt because I just want it to be fall so badly and it's still like 95 degrees out. <sighs> Maybe one day it's going to cool down a little bit, but today is not that day, but I'm gonna pretend like it's fall anyway, because I really like fall. If you're wondering about the look that I'm wearing, I filmed it with the uh, Worldly Palette by P. Louise. I've now filmed five looks with this. I don't know what is going up first. I'm just kind of taking my time with these looks. So this palette is going to be in the ranking as well, because I do consider it to be a very fall appropriate palette. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's start on the bottom as usual. So in the bottom spot, I actually have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette because when I look at this palette, it is very fall. I mean, this is a fall palette if I've ever seen one. Like you have a lot of depth, you have a lot of browns, you have a lot of oranges, you have a lot of golds, you have, you know, some reds, some oranges. That's kind of like the basic fall, <laughs> I don't know, basic bitch fall palette if you want to call it that. But this is just not really my color story. But since it is in my collection and it is definitely a fall palette, I wanted to throw it in here. So these rankings, like I've said many times before, isn't just about the quality of the palette. It's also, I don't know, there's a lot of things that kind of go into how I rank these. My preferences is definitely one of the things as well as the color stories and the formula. So yeah, the, these are just my opinion. So kind of take these with a grain of salt. It's just supposed to be kind of like entertainment, but obviously when we get up to like the highest ranked palettes, they're going to be awesome because otherwise they wouldn't have made it up top. But like when it comes to like the lower portion, there's a lot of things that kind of go into it. And I feel like a lot of these could have probably been shuffled around depending on my mood. So let's go to the next one. The next one, so I'm actually going to rank two in the same spot because I feel like it was very hard for me to choose like one over the other. And these are the new Dose of Colors palettes. I did a video using both of these not that long ago. I will link that in the corner. And if there's any videos that you wanna see with any of these palettes, uh, just search my channel page because I've done videos with all of them. So this is what the Smoky Soiree palette. I just feel like with all the depth that you have in this, you're going to get a very, very, dark and dramatic look. And I think of dramatic looks when I think of fall. And also with the mattes in here, you have this kind of maroony red one as well as this dark brown. So if you're only using this palette, you're going to get a very, very dark and dramatic look. And I just feel like this is a very fall appropriate look as well, especially if you're like going to an event or something, it would be a nice palette to maybe use. Not that anyone's going anywhere right now. Uh, and then next up we have the cutting edge palette, which looks like this. So you'd probably look at this and be like, this is way more fall than the other one. But I feel like this is lacking a little bit of depth to really give me exactly what I want in a fall palette. But obviously these colors are very, very fall. It's a beautiful palette, beautiful quality. Really happy to have this in my collection. Now, if I'm going to use this, I will use it with something else because it is quite a limited in color story because it is a small palette. So that's another reason why I just kind of ended up lower on my list. And I feel like in general, small palettes are always going to end up lower on my list for that reason, because there's only so many looks that you could do like only using that palette. Next up, we have another palette that is actually really, really good, but the color story is just, it's not really for me per se, but it is an amazing palette. And this is the Goddess palette by Alter Ego. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona gold palette. Obviously, as you can see, you have some beautiful dark browns, some gold, 
themselves some like tealy greens and I feel like that is very very I mean what I'm wearing today basically <laughs> so this is definitely a fall palette in my eyes I do think the quality is amazing on this I just I just don't wear these colors that often but I still wanted to include it in case you maybe haven't seen that palette and it's something that you would be interested in Next up, I have a palette here that I have not used since I made the video with it. I'm ashamed. I really should do a palette bingo with these because this is one of the Pinky Rose palettes. I only felt like one of them really went into this and this is the 80s baby palette. So here's what this palette looks like. At first glance, you might not look at this and be like, fall. But I don't know, I feel like the color combination in here, it just kind of screams fall to me. Plus it has a black, <laughs> which means depth. Uh, but I just look at these and I'm like, golds and bronzes and like yellows and oranges and reds and purples. I don't know, and this shade right here, this purple, this kind of dark grungy purple, I mean, if this isn't fall, I don't know what is. This could be a really nice like holiday palette as well, like a Christmas palette. Do you guys wanna see me do like a ranking my Christmas palettes videos or something like that? I feel like I, feel like I might have like similar palettes in that though if I end up doing that, but could maybe be a fun idea. Next up, I have one of the Melt palettes from the Amore Eternal collection, and this is the Vita palette. Obviously, this is a beautiful palette. I'm sure you've all seen it. This is like the definition of fall. And I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I maybe should have ranked this a little bit higher, but I feel like with the shades down here, like I'm missing a darker green. Like a darker green would really make this palette. And this green shimmer here has hard pan, so I can't really use it. So I kind of have to cover it up and that takes away like a lot of the appeal of this palette to me. So I don't know, I think I'm just mad at that green and that's why this ended up being ranked a little bit lower, but it is a beautiful palette, it's great quality except for that green, but I'm just so happy that I have both of these palettes in my collection. And actually in the next spot, I'm going to put the Muerte palette and this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, but when I think of fall, it's maybe not like the most fall colors, but I still just feel like with how deep and dark and grungy this palette is, that it still can definitely be a fall palette, especially with these very, very dark reds here. These are so beautiful and like paired with, you know, maybe this like teal green and you also have a gray, you have this very dark kind of midnight blue shimmer, which is absolutely stunning. I feel like I could definitely get like a very, fall look out of this. Maybe again, like I said, not the most traditional fall colors, but I don't know. I still looked at this as soon as I opened it. I was like, yes, this needs to go in the pile because this is a palette that in this season, I would be very inspired to use. Next up, we have a classic, and this is the Subculture palette by ABH. I don't think I need to show you this, but if you for some reason have not seen this palette, here's what the palette looks like. I mean, this is fall. <laughs> The only thing that I feel like is missing in this palette is like some more shimmers and I don't like the shimmer formula in this palette So for me, this is basically just an all matte palette because I don't really like these shimmers Like I said this one I can make work, but it's just it's so hard to get anything out of the pan This is a bronze I don't like bronzes and this shade right here. It's just it's not really all that it's very very weak it's not like the beautiful dual chromes that we get these days, but yeah, I love this color story. I think it is fantastic. I kind of, I'm kind of tempted to like make this into a singles palette, like dupe this with my singles in better formulas. Like maybe that could make for a fun video. I don't know. Let me know if maybe you want to see that because I feel like I could probably dupe this pretty nicely. Maybe not though. I don't know. It would be an interesting challenge anyway. I think that could be kind of fun. So I do love this palette though. I just don't really like the shimmers in it. Speaking of shimmers, so I love the shimmers in this next palette. Is they're, they're one of my favorites in my collection. This is the Kaleido Sci-Fi Green palette. Don't think anyone is surprised that I put this in this video because, I mean, this is fall. <laughs> like, I love these grungy greens. I love this kind of grungy goldy green shimmer. Like, that is so, that is just so fun. Like, I just love that color so much. This is the best black that I have in my collection. Uh, I just love this palette. There's nothing bad about this palette that I could tell you because it's just fantastic. Next up, I have another green palette and this one is the Tri Palette by Juvie's Place. I really wish this wasn't discontinued. It makes me so sad. I feel like a lot of the great palettes that's come out has been discontinued and they've been limited edition. And it's like, why? Why do all the best palettes have to be limited edition? It's just so annoying. Here's what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it. It's just so beautiful. I love the undertone of all of these mattes. Like they are so unique. Like this poopy brown here, it really it really looks like poop. Like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's why I like it so much. And this duochrome up here has like a green, it's like a bronze with a green shift to it. I don't think you can really see it, but uh, it's just so beautiful. And this duochrome here, I don't know why I'm swatching like the only palette that you probably can't get, but Again, such a beautiful color and so unique. I love this. I love this dark green down here. It is absolutely beautiful. I really wish that Juvia's Place would start making more of these nine pan palettes. I really don't like the direction I've been going in lately. I find Juvia's Place to be kind of boring now. I don't know if it's just me, but I haven't been excited by anything from Juvia's Place in such a long time. At least when it comes to eyeshadows, uh, their lipsticks seem to be a hit at least. I mean, I bought one and I like it, but it's not like I'm super excited about a lip product, you know? It's just not one of those things that I'm like jumping up and down of joy about. But next up, I have a palette here that I think is still available. This is from Sir. Certify. Does anybody know what is going on with Certify? Because I haven't heard or seen anything from them and it's been so long since they've come out with anything. Uh, but this is the Destiny palette and here's what it looks like. I love this after I got it. I did a lot of looks with this. I loved every look that I came up with. I just think that this color story is so fantastic. I love the, I love the kind of I don't know, like the warmth, but also the richness of these mattes. I just think that they did such a good job with them. Like even though a lot of these shades up here look kind of similar, they're really not. Like I feel like they're all different enough that you can warrant them being in a palette and they're all going to look kind of different on the eyes, which you can't really say that a lot about, you know, putting two browns of the same depth into a palette. Usually they're not going to look that different, but I feel like with this palette, even just looking at the different tones in here, I feel like, I feel like they're all different enough. And I really like the greens down here. This blue is beautiful. It's a little bit hard to work with. There's a black in here. There's a gold and a silver, which I love in my palette. So I think this is an amazing palette. And I really hope that Certify is doing okay because I would love for them to come out with more stuff because everything that I tried from the brand, I really liked. Next up on my list is the Arcana palette by Shroud Cosmetics. I love this palette. This is amazing. If you haven't seen this palette, here's what it looks like, obviously. This is very much fall for me. I feel like the only thing that's kind of missing is, I don't know, the matte selection is a little bit, I feel like I'm missing something else in the mattes. I don't know what exactly, but I just feel like this is a palette that I like to use along with other palettes. Like I bring this when I travel a lot just because of the, the different tones in the mattes here are very unique to my collection and they work very well with like brighter, more mid-tone mattes. Uh, but I feel like I need a little bit of extra something to go with this palette, but I do really love it. And I love how grungy the shimmers in here are. Like this shimmer right here, like that is very grungy. <laughs> Even this one, like you would think it would be very bright, but when you look at it, it's almost like it's got a bit of a black base to it. It is stunning. And also this kind of like antique gold, it's like a dirty gold. It's really, really unique. I love this green up here as well. Stunning, also has a bit of a black base to it. I love what they did with this palette. I think it is amazing. So I had to rank this very, very high, even though I do feel like there's just, it's not really, like I said, a, a standalone palette for me, but I could definitely get a lot of looks out of this on its own too, if I wanted to. The palette that's on my eyes, like I said earlier today, this is the Worldly Palette by P. Louise. You've probably seen this palette. I have done a video with this. I will link that if you want to check it out. Here's what it looks like. I feel like every look that I've done with this palette so far, except for one where I only used the blues, have been very, very fall. You might look at this and be like, there's a lot of bright colors in there on it, but you also have so much depth. And I feel like every time you go in with like a very, very dark matte, deep enough any of these brights, like it really tones down the look. And I feel like that's kind of what makes it fall. You know, you don't want to have like a super bright green, like that's not very fall. But once you go in with like some kind of a, a murkier green or a darker green to really deepen something up, and then depending on what you put on on your lid especially with the only shimmers in this palette being very dark you have the green you have the blue and you have this how would i even explain this it's like a dirty bronze i don't know but it's it's really really cool like i just i'm so inspired by this color story still and i can't wait to keep doing more looks with it it's probably going to end up being a 10 look video but i'm just gonna take my time with it because i'm really enjoying it and i also feel like if i take my time with it i'm not going to be so stressed about like having to finish it and it's not going to feel as much work as it would be if i try to like get it done really quickly so i've been really enjoying this palette so far Next up is a palette that is super new to my collection. I've only done one look with it. I don't know if the video is up yet, but this is the Ace Beauté Flare palette. <sighs> this is a palette that I've been lusting over 
for such a long time, as this is an old palette, I just never pulled the trigger on it. But then YesStyle asked me if I wanted to pick up some stuff from their website and this was on there. And it was the first thing I put in my cart because I was like, oh my God, like I need this palette. And I'm so happy I have it in my collection. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I didn't really have any problems working with it. I know some people say they don't really love the Ace Beauté formula. I can see why some people might not like it though, because they don't really stick to your eye that well. You kind of have to work with it a little bit differently. Uh, but I love this. I think the color story is beautiful. It does take a little bit of just extra work, but I think it's amazing. I think this color story is very, very fall. I also just, I love the packaging on it. Like that's just, it's just so cool. Like even the packaging is fall, you know? So I had to just rank this very high. I'm excited to play more with this palette. And next up for my number two spot, I don't think anyone's really going to be surprised because every time this palette is in a ranking video, it usually ends up on top, but today I'm actually ranking it as number two. This is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I just, if this isn't fall in a palette, I don't know what is. <laughs> like this to me is basically the definition of fall. Like there's really no shade in here that I feel like I'm missing for this to be like the perfect fall palette. Maybe a dark purple, but a lot of people don't really consider purples a fall color, but I love this palette. I have done a 10 look video with this. If you want to see it, I can link it up in the corner, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of an old palette now, but just so you know, I have done that and it will be there if you want to watch it. And then in my number one spot, this was the one palette that I opened up and I was like, literally every look you do with this palette is going to be very fall. <laughs> And like all of the shades in this is just amazing. This is the Glam Light Taco Palette. <laughs> how many times, how many times do Glam Light win my ranking videos? I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know why I even find this so funny, but I just do. But here's what the colors look like. I mean, isn't this just beautiful? You have your greens up here. You have like your oranges and golds and browns. You have the dark purple that I was talking about. You have these very, very fall appropriate shimmers. Like if I put some of these like on my fingers here, like all of these, like, is that, is that not fall? <laughs> I look at my background. They basically blend into my background. I mean, this is just such a fall palette. I love this palette. Quality, fantastic packaging A+, plus. it's a taco. What's not to like about it? I just, I really need to pull this out again. Do you guys wanna see a Glam Life palette bingo? That could be really fun because once the ice cream palette comes in, I should definitely have enough palettes from Glam Life that I could do that. Honestly, just even thinking about it makes me really happy because I feel like that could be super fun. So those were my rankings. Let me know if you were surprised by any of them. Were you surprised that the taco palette ended up on top? I was honestly a little bit surprised myself, but I feel like it deserves it. The taco deserves to be number one because it's a taco and it's a great palette. So that's gonna be it for my ranking, my fall palettes. Let me know what your favorite fall palette is. I would love to know down below. If you wanna see some of my other ranking videos, here's my playlist. And if you're new, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.